The legend and stories are flamboyant and brutal about Blackbeard, the most feared pirate in history. Much of his life was exaggerated or poorly sourced, but the description of his death has fascinated people since it happened, and if true, he truly was one of the hardest men to kill in history. Welcome everyone to Half History Will Travel. I am your host, the Wilder Historian, and in this video I will talk briefly about the life and death of Blackbeard the Pirate. This will be the first installment of the series of the hardest men to kill in history. If the video gets good responses, I will continue this series. Little is known for sure about the life of Edward Teach, sometimes pronounced Thatch, more famously known as Blackbeard. Historians still debate the details of his life and career, but it is suspected that he was born around the year 1680 in the city of Bristol in England. More is known as his career as a privateer took off. England and other nations around the world hired privateers to raid other nation ships. Spain had planted a firm foundation in the Americas and gained immense wealth from gold and silver mines as well as sugar plantations. They became a dominant power globally because of it. This led to England hiring privateers or freelance sailors to raid Spanish galleons and treasure ships, making them legal pirates. However, the economic situation of England changed around the year 1700, when the sugar plantations of the Bahamas and the tobacco plantations of Virginia took off and provided great income to England. They now had to rely less on privateers raiding Spanish treasure ships and began taking legal status away from the pirates. In response, the pirates began raiding the treasure ships on their own. In 1715, a hurricane struck a Spanish flotilla of 11 ships carrying 14 million pesos of silver and a large quantity of gold, throwing its contents all over the Florida coast. The Spanish attempted to recover as much as possible of the wreckage, but were swarmed with pirates, one of them being Edward Teach, under the tutelage of famous privateer Benjamin Hornigold. Teach helped recover much gold and treasure from the ocean floor. Eventually, Teach would capture a large French slave ship, and it became his famed pirate ship, Queen Anne's Revenge. He would then scour the southern portions of North America, taking over treasure ships and merchant vessels, eventually creating a fleet unto himself with somewhere near 200 crewmen. His raiding became legendary, his flag with a skeleton stab in a heart became iconic, and his wrath, whether real or exaggerated by stories and newspapers, struck fear in all who ventured into the Caribbean. It was said that he would, in an attempt to intimidate victims of his raids, would set his beard on fire. Now this could be easily exaggeration because then he would lose the iconic coarse black beard that he was known for. At one point, he even blockaded Charleston Harbor to raid ships coming and going into the harbor. His exploits also involved numerous women that he visited on his voyages, including possibly marrying 12 wives, most of them reportedly running away from his barbarity or leaving him because of his exploits after their marriage. Teach, at one point, allied himself with the governor of North Carolina to raid ships and give a cut of the profits to the governor for funding the expeditions. It all came to a head when the lieutenant governor of Virginia, Alexander Spotswood, assembled two sloops and a crew to hunt down the pirate. The two vessels, named the Ranger and the Jane, attempted to sneak up on the pirate and his ship, the Adventure, but became stuck on a sandbar. Blackbeard approached the Jane, which appeared to have very few sailors aboard but its leader, Lieutenant Robert Maynard, had hid his crew until the pirates were aboard and then ambushed the invaders. Blackbeard would be reportedly shot five times and cut by sabers no less than 20 times. He fought on in hand-to-hand -hand combat with Maynard. Another British sailor gave Blackbeard a deep cut on the neck and a second blow to the neck severed his head. The decapitated body after being thrown overboard reportedly swam around the ship a few times before sinking. His head was hung from a pole on the Hampton River as a warning to all other pirates. Edward Teach, the scourge of the seven seas, died barely two years into his pirate career. Much of his life is exaggerated, but if the story of his death is true, he was definitely one of the hardest men to kill in history. Thank you all so much for watching. Please share the video to get the word out about the channel, and I will see you next time. Historian, historian, where do you roam? Historian, historian, far, far from home. Have history will travel, reads the card of a man. A professor.
Professor with knowledge in the heartland To educate the world is his mission A professor of fortune is a man called Historian Historian